Hi everyone, Mike Brown back with you with another lesson in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 from Educator.com. We've been talking in the past couple of lessons about the most important technique in Photoshop Elements, and that is selecting areas and isolating them to make corrections and making them blend perfectly with the rest of the image, which allows you to take your images to an entirely new level beyond just overall corrections by fixing isolated spots. In the last lesson, we talked about feather, which is the width and softness of a selection edge and how you can use a very tight, smooth edge along a clean line to make a perfect transition there, or make a very, very wide feather to allow a very gradual blend into an area for a soft transition so that all of your corrections blend flawlessly in your image. In this lesson, adjusting selections with Refine Edge, which is a dialog box that allows you a lot of control over the basic selection that you make. We're first going to do a quick review of Feather, then we're going to take a look at the Refine Edge dialog box, show you how to modify a selection with Refine Edge, and how to use Refine Edge, this is magic, to select fine details such as hair, which was an impossibility up until Adobe Photoshop Elements 11, a really cool feature. So let's get started. Here's a photo, photo right here, and we're going to just do a quick selection of the sky. And this is how you think it. Obviously, the marquee tools are out. Obviously, you're not going to use any of the lasso tools to try to go along that edge, take you too long. So it puts us down to the selection brush, which you're not going to paint that edge, takes too long, might do a little correcting. We have the quick selection tool or the magic wand. The quick selection tool, if you remember, looks for contrast based on color, and the magic wand searches for areas of similar color. Let's try it with the quick selection tool first. We adjust our brush size. You want to go down to a fairly small brush size and stay in the area beyond the edge. You don't want to touch the edge. We're looking for sky, so we'll just take and drag along the sky, and you notice what happened. It dropped down inside the mountains. Let's take a closer look and see what happened. It happened because there was clear transition areas here because of the darkness and the blue, clear over here because of the white and the blue. But right in this area, as the mountains went from no snow to very, very light dust of snow, the edge is ill-defined. And so it dropped down, and then it went for the next area. We could try Option or Alt make a slightly smaller brush, and drag back through that area to see if we can get everything else corrected. It might work. Pull up into here. In fact, I think that's doing a pretty good job. And we'll drag back along there. And generally, we got a good selection. But we could have done it better. In this case, it's pretty obvious that the magic wand that looks for areas of similar color, the sky is very similar, slight gradient. So we'll take the magic wand with a, a low tolerance, high tolerance to me. In the past, they only let you go to 64, and that would select almost everything. About 20, roughly in that area, is a good place to start. And so we'll see what happens. Click in the middle of the sky, and look, the band of color is almost the entire sky. Just a little bit was missed. Now it's automatically on the add, so if I click here, it expands down. If I click here, it expands up. Let's zoom up and take a close look at the edge. It got a little inside, so we'll switch to the quick selection tool. Drop that down. It's on minus, and see if we can pull that area out of there. Again, it's that same spot where that transition was a little edgy. Not bad. We got a pretty good job. Let's look at it with the selection brush as a mask. And we can see a little raggedness right in there, but we'll correct that. Let's come out to a selection. And what we want to do, oh, let, first of all, let me look at that mask and let me show you. The edge is pretty harsh. You can see it. And it's just needs, especially right up in here, you see it, it needs some feather. 
So we'll go back to the selection. We know it's like, let's hide the selection, Command or Control H, and you see it's a smooth edge. So let's go, we have no feather right on this one. You notice we have no feather here. We have refined edge. We also have refined edge here. We have feather here, but that is applying the feather before you make the selection. We've already got the selection, so what do we do? No problem. We just go up to the Select menu. Come down, and there's Feather. This is after you make the selection Feather adjustment. We're going to punch in one pixel of Feather, and take a look at that under the Selection brush as a mask, and there you see that we've got a nice smooth one pixel edge that pretty much looks like the edge of the mountain where it meets the sky. Pretty quick corrections on there and a one pixel feather. So that gives you an idea if you remember how the feather works. We did a selection, we added and subtracted a little bit, we tried two different tools and we did some feather and got a really nice selection. One thing to remember, now that you worked all this time to make the selection, don't lose it. Go to the Select menu, go to Save Selection, and name it. We're going to name it Sky with Magic Wand. One Pixel Feather. And now we know everything we did with that, we click OK. So if at any time we lose that selection, we can go to the Select menu, Load Selection, and there's our selection. Click OK and it's back. All right, so that's how to do a fairly easy selection. You've already figured that one out. Just a review.